I feel like Gilliard, Golden, Sherrod, Blake Francis, and Nathan will be the best class that Richmond's ever had. Uh, just rehabbing, working out, getting back into shape. Uh, same old, same old. Not really any off time for me just because of the injury and that kind of stuff. But, you know, just, just trying to get back into basketball shape, just trying to uh, slowly but surely just get back to where I was before the injury. Uh, so it's, it's a fun process. Obviously, summer's a little bit longer for me. It's not as much off time, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it any other way. Honestly, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, they tell me it's been six, seven months, but it feels like just yesterday I got hurt, just yesterday I had surgery. Um, so my expectations going into it were just that it was going to be a tough process and that it was going to be hard, and it definitely uh, met those expectations. But for the most part, um, I've tried to take it uh, head on. Uh, my favorite athlete is probably Adrian Peterson. So he's been a big inspiration for me throughout the process with how he uh, injured his uh, towards ACL and then came back and set the rushing record and stuff like that. So just using that as inspiration and just trying to you know uh, count on the work ethic that I've had to get to this point. Uh, it's been a, for me, it's been a fun process just trying to uh, get back. It's just like a puzzle and every day you're trying to fit something back into where it wasn't before. I know it's been a it's been a journey for for Grant and I to get to where we are now, uh, with him having to sit out his freshman year, me having to sit out my um, junior year, and just coming together, um, be friends and end together. But uh, the craziest part about it is I remember uh, early one of our first practices. I told uh, Coach Guy, I told him, man, I wish I had two years of Blake instead of one. Um, just something that you know, just because I knew how talented he was, how talented that we could be uh, for the next two years, and would uh, my upcoming junior year, but would have been my senior year. And for it to happen the way it happened, obviously it wasn't necessarily ideal, but you know, everything happens for a reason. And uh, it's crazy that I get the chance to spend two more years with these guys. I live with Blake this summer, live with Grant and Blake uh, during the school year. So just to get to build that chemistry with all these guys and to just take advantage of the opportunity that we have in front of us to have a potentially really special class. Yeah, I think the biggest difference is just the on-court mentality that you have. Uh, uh, when you're younger, when you're a freshman and sophomore, even if you have the most talent in the world, at eight point lead feels like 30. Um, and you don't know, and you don't really know how the pace of the game is. You don't realize how long a 40 minute college basketball game is, how many, how many changes of momentum there is, uh, how many times, you know, the ball can fall your way for a couple minutes and go the other teams away the other minutes. So just that kind of stuff. Uh, I remember a lot of my freshman year, I'll get kind of sped up. I'll get kind of frustrated because we get down a couple points. Chandra and TJ would just be there calming all of us down together. Um, so just hopefully going into this year, as we have an older group, we've been through we've been through a lot in our uh, two years together, and for uh, Grant and I, parts of three years. So we've been through a lot, and hopefully we can take all that experience and start to turn it into some, to some good um, experiences that when we look back on it, and when it's time for Wojcik and Tyler and those guys to be upperclassmen, they can look on these experiences and use them to continue moving the program forward. Uh, it means a lot um, to, for him to have that confidence in us, um, especially considering how the past couple of years have went. But I mean, we kind of take that challenge head on. I don't even know if we think of, think of it as uh, being potentially the best class ever. I think we just think of it more as an opportunity to have two really, really special seasons. Um, and that's pretty much what we're, what we're looking at. We understand the history of the program, some of the great players that we've had, uh, some of the great teams, some of the great runs that have uh, happened in this program. And we just want to add our, add our names to that list, add our team to that list of great teams in Richmond, great players in Richmond. So obviously that's a, that's a really high praise from coming from Coach Mooney, but at the end of the day, it's up to us to fulfill those expectations and to you know, really go out there and play as hard as we can and try to put together a really special run.